the Lord be with you and also with you. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our children's church for May the 10th of 2020. It is the one, two, three, four, fifth Sunday of Easter today. Christ is still with us, even though he Today we're going to start by singing Our God is So Good to a big song. Um, and let's do some different animals today. So I want to do um, a worm. And let's do an ostrich. <laughs> and last but not least, let's do a jellyfish. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He made the stars, he made the seas, he made the worms too. <coughs> my God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. <coughs> My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He made the stars, he made the seas, he made the ostriches too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He made the stars, he made the seas, he made the jellyfish too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. He loves me so. He loves me so. God is so good. He's so good to me. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. We sing this song to get ready to listen to a story of God. We have a special way that we get ready. We sit crisscross applesauce, our hands are in our laps, our mouths are closed and still, our ears are open and listening, and our eyes are open and watching. One. There was someone who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. They didn't know who he was, so one day they simply had to ask him. And he said, I am the Good Shepherd. I know each of my sheep by name. And they know the sound of my voice. So when I call my sheep from the sheepfold, they follow me. I walk in front of my sheep to show them the way.
I show them the way to the good green grass. This is the table of the Good Shepherd. A special plate and a special cup are on this table. Here, the Good Shepherd feeds his sheep. Many come to the joyful feast. They come from the east. And the west. And the north. And the South. And the children come too. Good Shepherd is still with us. He is with us in the holy bread and in the holy cup. And one of the people of God called a celebrant comes and says the very words of the Good Shepherd and all share in his presence here. I wonder if these people have names. I wonder if these people are happy to be at the great feast. I wonder where this place might really be. I wonder if you have ever been close to this table. I wonder if you have ever felt the Good Shepherd there with you. I wonder if you have ever heard the very words of the Good Shepherd. I wonder how many people can come to this table. I wonder where they come from. I wonder where this whole place might really be. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Jesus is with us as we hear the word of God. 
Our story today comes from the book of First Corinthians. Chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. It is now time to give our thanks to God. This is the time where you can say something you're thankful for that happened this week or something you're thankful for about our story. Or if you're worried or sad about it, you can share that too. You can say it out loud or you can say it in your heart. God knows what we say regardless of if, or what we need regardless of if we say it or not. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for one last chance of snow this year and protect our plants and keep those who might not be warm, warm. Thank you for friends who we miss and family who we miss and let us be able to see them soon. Thank you for doctors and nurses and scientists who are trying to help people feel better. Thank you for teachers who are still teaching us, even though so much is going on in their lives as well. Thank you for parents and guardians and family who are helping us and keeping us learning through this time. Amen. I am now going to change the light. Look, the light is in one place at one time, but I'm going to change it so it is in many places at many times. Watch. The light that was just in one place at one time is now in many places at many times. Through the light and the love of Christ, may be with you as you watch this video, in your house, and anywhere you go throughout the week. Amen. Have a good week, guys. Bye-bye.